Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda, and today we're gonna do the rapid fire 50 questions, 50 rapid fire questions book tag. All right, so this is a tag that I will link the original video down below. I don't remember the name of the channel that the original video comes from. I was not tagged in it. I just felt like doing it. So we're gonna do it. It's basically 50 questions about books that I'm gonna answer rapid fire. And I'm gonna try to get through these without talking too much. Let's see how successful I am at that. All right, number one, hardback or paperback? Paperback. Number two, dust jacket on or off? I used to be a dust jacket on person and lately I've been taking them off because they've been getting destroyed. Number three, secondhand or new copies, secondhand. Number four, audiobooks or nah. Uh, hello, audiobooks, all the way, for life. Um, number five, do you cover by, pff, yup. Number six, what's a good book with a bad cover? Oosh. I don't know. What's a good book with a bad cover? This one. The Becoming of Naomi Leon. This book cover could use some work. We're gonna go with that. All right, next. What's a bad book with a good cover? Oh, I'm sure there are plenty of those. Let's see. I'm gonna pull up Goodreads real quick because I don't know and I'm not running downstairs to look at my shelves. Let's see here. The Very, Very Far North. I did not care for that book very much. I thought that it was not that great, but the cover is gorgeous. So we're gonna go with that one. All right, next we have, what was the first book you ever read? I have no idea. I learned how to read when I was like three years old. So a no clue, probably Dr. Seuss. We're, we'll go with that. Um, the last book that you finished, um, I just finished, where did it go? I have piles and piles of books around me right now. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I finished it this morning for the second time. All right, uh, that was the last book I finished. Last series you finished, um, probably the Ark of the Scythe series was probably the last series that I completely finished. Um, the last book that you bought is around here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Is this it? Yeah. Secret Hum of a Daisy by Tracy Holzer. I bought that because I read Tracy Holzer's other book and loved it. So I bought that one. All right. Um, what's your favorite genre? Historical fiction. What is your favorite book in that genre? Hum if you don't know the words. What genre do you never reach for? Horror, hands down. Um, number 15, do you read poetry occasionally, but not really? I'll read children's poetry more than anything else. I do like books in verse though. So I don't think that's technically, I don't know. Is that poetry? Somebody tell me. All right. Um, number 16, popular science. I have no idea what that means. Moving on. Number 17, middle grade. Love it. Um, I don't know what the question was. It just says middle grade question mark. I'm just going to say I love it. All right. Number 18, do you have a book box subscription? Nope. Number 19, what's your favorite bookish item? I have a sticker that I bought from um, Bookshelf Tees that says, take a look, it's in a book, it has a rainbow on it. And I stuck it on a cup, a Yeti cup. I'll see if I can put a picture of it up here. And I love it because it matches my cup perfectly and I just love it so much. That's my favorite bookish item. Um, what is your current bookmark? Um, I kind of use whatever I like. These are the bookshelf tees. This is her business card. I love these. Um, Krista from Books and Jam sent me some books and sent me a little bookmark. Um, I made a bunch of bookmarks. I read, I use those. I also use like candy wrappers frequently. So, or tags off of clothing. I use those frequently as well. Um, all right, number 21. What's the strangest object you've used as a bookmark? I use my phone as a bookmark sometimes. I mean, I use anything that will sit in a book and not ruin it. I don't know the strangest thing though. Um, number 22, book jackets or nah? I'm guessing that means like the book sleeves maybe? I don't, I've never used one. I just, I don't, I just throw my books everywhere. Number 23, who's your fictional boyfriend? I do not have one, I have a husband. Um, number 24, your favorite book couple? Um, I 
don't know. I don't know. Um, I might say the couple from um, uh, the uh, romance book club, maybe. I really like their relationship. You know whose relationship I really liked. I, well, yeah. I liked um, the dating charade. I wasn't, I liked the book. I didn't love the book, but the couple in it was so cute and I liked them so much. And their attitudes towards the kids and stuff in the book, I just loved. Um, so we'll say that. Number 25, your favorite book villain? Um, I Goddard from Scythe. He's messed up. Um, your favorite book adventure? I don't know. Um, I don't know. These are so hard. I have to think about what I've actually read. Um, I don't, I have no idea. I don't know. Um, I, I, Harry Potter, I liked. Um, I really liked reading Artemis Fowl earlier this year. Um, I don't know. I don't read a lot of like adventure type stuff. I should. All right, um, number 27, series, trilogies, or standalones. I like standalones, which is probably an unpopular opinion, but I prefer standalones, um, which is interesting because I prefer TV series over movies. So I don't know. Um, all right, uh, 28, mixed media books or paragraphs. I love me a mixed media book. Ooh, that's my favorite book adventure, Illuminae. That was awesome. I love that. And I like the breaking it up. I actually just read a book called Evidence of V that was mixed media as well. And it, I just like the, the, how it breaks up the story more and it makes you feel like you're reading it faster. I like that. Okay. Um, number 29, what is your favorite book adaptation? <sighs> I love the Harry Potter movies. Um, I also like, I don't know. I like the Bridge to Terabithia movie. Um, I don't know. This is making me think. I don't like to think. I'm trying to think of what else I've read that has a movie adaptation. Ooh, um, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. All right, um, number 30, film adaptations or TV adaptations? I just said I love a TV series over a movie, but it depends on what it is. If there's enough content to fill a TV series, I'll take that. But not if they have to go too far outside of the book. Um, number 31, what book needs an adaptation? Ooh. Um, ooh. I think Hum If You Don't Know the Words would make an amazing movie. Um, I also think that we're getting a um, Grishaverse already, which I think would be really, really great. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm, look, I'm thinking about like some of my favorite books that haven't been turned into movies. Um, I The Kitchen House maybe might be a fun one. Um, I'm trying to think of adult books that aren't just middle grade because there's so many middle grade adaptations. Um, the Secret Garden has a good adaptation as well. I'm looking forward to the new one. All right. Um, okay. Number 32, favorite book world. Um, I don't know. Without like saying Harry Potter, but Harry Potter isn't my favorite book world. Let's see. Um, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm going to go back to Goodreads again and see what I have. My children are all screaming downstairs. Um, let's see. Book world, book world, book world. See, these are fantasy centric uh, questions, and I don't read a whole lot of fantasy. Mm. Um, Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles. Um, I think that, that, I think, I think, whatever. This is rapid fire. We're going to go with that one. All right. Next one is your favorite writing style. Ooh, um, I prefer third person as far as like 
which person it's in. Um, I prefer third person. Dep it depends on the story. Um, but okay, my favorite writing style is epistolary. I love epistolary novels. I think they're great. That's my favorite. All right, number 34. What's a book that you love that people don't know about? Um, I just finished Everything Else in the Universe by Tracy Holzer. I gave it to my neighbor so I don't have it to hold up. It is amazing and I have never heard anybody else ever talk about it. Go read it. It is fantastic. It's about the Vietnam War. It's middle grade. Also Free Lunch by Rex Ogle. I've never really heard anybody ever talk about and it is a phenomenal nonfiction middle grade book. Read it before you hand it to a middle grader because there are significant content warnings that go with it, but it is fantastic as well. All right, next. What's a popular book that you hated? I have a whole video about this. There are a number of them. Um, but I really didn't like Children of Blood and Bone. I really didn't like Redeeming Love. I really didn't like, what were the other ones that I put in that video? I don't even remember. Um, the girl who, uh, uh, the girl who ate the moon, the girl who drank the moon, the girl who drank the moon. That one I didn't really care for. Um, I don't remember what the other two were now, but I have a whole video about those. But anyway, um, favorite childhood reads, Matilda, Babysitter's Club, um, Boxcar Children, um, Beverly Cleary. I love Beverly Cleary. Um, I think that's it. Babysitter's Little Sister. All right. What's a book that you, that changed your life? Um, Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Completely changed the way I view my role as a parent with my daughters. Um, 38. What book did you hate at school? I didn't read a lot of my required reading at school, so there's that. The like two books that I did read, I enjoyed, but I didn't really read any of them, so whatever. Um, number 39, do you buy to collect? Yes and no. Um, I don't buy like collector's editions books, and I don't typically buy multiple copies of a book, but I do buy books that I've already read to own for myself for my personal book collection. Um, number 40, do you donate books? Yes. Number 41, what's your favorite reading snack? Right now, Twizzlers. I'm on a Twizzlers kick. Um, M&Ms are also a favorite of mine. Number 42, what's your favorite reading position? Sitting on my couch or sitting up? If I'm laying down, I fall asleep. So there's that. Number 43, natural light or lamp light? Natural light. Number 44, outside or inside? Ooh, it really depends. I am an inside person, like by nature. Um, so if it's too hot or too cold, I don't like being outside, but I love the ambience of being outside. So it just depends. Number 45, breaking the cover or keeping it smooth. Um, I don't know what that means, but I don't mind. Like I wanna be able to read my book without it like constantly flipping closed. So I don't mind having to break it in if that's what that means. Number 46, do you read in other languages? No, I wish. I did minor in Spanish in college, which I don't know any Spanish now because that was so many years ago. Um, and I did have to read a novel in Spanish um, for that one of my classes, but I've never read a book in Spanish since. Um, all right, what book release are you most excited about right now? Frederick Bachman's, Frederick Bachman's Ancient Anxious People. Um, Majesty by Catherine McGee, which is the second book in the American Royals series. And um, Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. Those are my, the ones I'm most excited about right now. Um, do you have a favorite book influencer? Um, y yes and no. I have a handful of people that I go to all the time. I have certain people that I go to specifically for book recommendations. I have other people that I go to for inspiration, like creative inspiration. Um, but I don't have a single specific one favorite person. Um, I just have a group of people that I really like. Um, number 50, do you have a channel blog or a social media feed? Um, I have an Instagram and this. So I have my YouTube channel and my Instagram account, which is always linked down below if you'd like to follow me there. So that was it. 50 questions, rapid fire. I did it in 15 minutes. So that's not bad for 50 questions and I didn't ramble on too much. So love to hear your answer to some of these questions down below. If you want any more details about any of the questions, hit me up down below as well. 
and I will link the original in the description. So check that out. Other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.